Hey guys, welcome back to another splendid day in GTA. I heard there's been some updates to the existing businesses with the new Criminal Enterprises DLC. And today, I'm going to check them out. I heard there's some new delivery missions where we can sell some vehicles for cash, as well as some new quality of life updates. So come along, let's go for a ride, and let's check it out and have some fun. All right, we're already getting some texts from Agent 14 telling us to head over to the bunker. So I'm assuming that will be where the first new delivery mission is. Let's check it out. Let's head to the garage and get on our way. Ah, uh, the good old buffalo. It's been a while. It has been a while. And away we go. All right. Visit your bunker to learn about a new ammunition contract. That's the first thing. Second thing is let's see if she can still do some donuts. Feels very good being behind the driver's seat again. You don't know me, but I know you. Oh, quite a file, quite a story. So let me get right to the point. I work for an organization. I won't say which, but you can guess. Hmm? Now, I can't tell you much as long as you're still just a civilian, but I can tell you this. It's hot as hell outside, and the gas prices are through the roof. We can't change the weather, but maybe we could do something about the price of the pump. Hey, but don't worry, we good, we good. We got you covered. Next time you're down here, just holler at us. We can get out there and hustle up some extra cargo for you, huh? You don't need to do nothing, man. Just sit back and relax. Anyway, see you around. All right, that is Lupe. We will check that out after we check out this fruit stand. First trip back to the good old bunker. And uh, it's pretty cool that they've updated all the existing businesses, to be honest, because it was getting kind of cluttered with everything. They have instructions to load up a truck whenever they have enough to sell. All you have to do is make the delivery. And if you're looking to stimulate the research side of things down there, just uh, give me a call. I have a few things lined up. All right, pretty cool. So for you, those of you guys who uh, are still working on your research for the bunker, sounds like there's some new missions to uh, do those faster and easier than spending all that time and all that money on those darn resupply missions. Man, those took forever. I do remember that. All right, so with this vehicle, looks like we cannot shoot behind us. So that's a bit of a problem, but lucky for us, I will do what we do best. And that is some evasive driving. Drive as fast as we can and leave these losers behind in the dust. And look at that sunset. GTA is being good today, welcoming me back in. And uh, pretty cool. Let's see how much we get for this delivery for the bunker. The new delivery missions. Had 10 minutes remaining. All right, 150 grand. But keep in mind, I believe this week the uh, payout is doubled or tripled. Should be 50,000 normally. And let's mosey on over to the nightclub and see what's new here. Hey, have you seen these gas prices? It's insane. It's like I'm back in 1981, only I'm 10 pounds heavier, and double denim still won't fucking die. That and the heat, people are going crazy out here. Which is good for business, right? I've been looking into some new options we have for keeping our stock levels high. High risk, high reward. That's like your MO, right? <laughs> anyway, if you're down, just give me a call. I'll set you up, okay? Bye. D I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, 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 bye. Oh boy, Johan seems a little indecisive and not too confident. But I think we can get this nightclub back on track. Yeah, this should work. I've got my eyes on a shipment of cargo coming through the docks right now. 
It's on a talk boat. Minimal security. Couldn't be simpler. Just get it back to the club. All right, we'll go check it out in the Turismo Classic, Miami Vice style. And uh, got to go to Elysian Island. Probably pick something up, bring it back to the nightclub, which is actually really cool uh, because I'm in a private lobby. And it seems to be very similar to the business battles where you had to compete with everybody in the lobby to go after supplies, bring it back to the nightclub to restock your nightclub. However, now we can finally do it in a private lobby, which is pretty awesome. Especially for people who like to stay away from the chaos, the griefing, and just make their money and have fun. It is very therapeutic just running back and forth, checking on the businesses, getting them to output good cash. So, so far, I am digging it. I can dig it. It'll be interesting to see how much we get for this uh, delivery, how much the stock goes up in the nightclub. And also, I'm really curious to see how much we can make per hour uh, without running the Cayo Perico heist. Because as you guys know, you can make a million dollars pretty easily from that, but it is quite the grind when you're doing it back to back to back to back. Which, by the way, they did nerf that, so the cooldown is now, I believe, two hours, maybe two hours and 20 minutes. So you can't run it back to back anymore. So these new additions to the businesses are definitely refreshing so far. And on that delivery for the nightclub, looks like we got about 30 grand in products and uh, 37 grand cash, probably because the bonus week. So probably around 10, 20 grand cash and around 30 grand, 40 grand for the, uh, the nightclub stock, which is not too shabby. Time to mosey on down to the MC bike club and see what's new for the MC business. Ah, the good old MC club, the biker club, have not been here in a while. What I'm really hoping for is to uh, spend some more time on these existing businesses, start using them more. All right, looks like we've got a bike here uh, that we can probably modify and sell for some cash. Probably similar to the auto shop and the import export business. A second, yo, you know that shop you have put in? <laughs> My man Zach thinks he got what it takes to go half legit. Yeah, I know, I know. It's come to that. Repairs and custom jobs. You do the work, you make the delivery, but shit, you get paid. Gotta say, I've always enjoyed doing the import-export business, uh, sourcing vehicles and selling them. I think the profit for that is around 80000 which is pretty good. So definitely will be interesting to see the rotation on these new delivery vehicles. Maybe we can throw them in with the import-export, the bunker, and uh, looking forward to a new rotation for making money. This is new, right? All right, that looks good to me. Spend 10 grand to do the modifications and away we go. Look at that. Nice copper bronze, copper brown for the zombie bobber. Goes pretty good with the coat, must say. Yeah, man, this is pretty cool. I'm digging the delivery missions. Show off a little bit for these guys. Make sure the bike's got some power before the delivery. All right, unscratch. That was fun and relaxing for a nice $50,000 payment. Go on, go on, check it out. There ain't no scratches. As always, I am a superb driver. Mission complete. Final payment, 180 grand. Again, that's the, gotta be the 3X, the three times payment. Um, crouching, trying to give a thumbs up. Hey guys, wanna see something cool? Check out this burnout on my classic Esky. Pretty cool, right? Uh-oh, gotta run. 
Bye. All right, so apparently we can also do a supply mission for the MC bar now as well. To make some passive income from a new safe. Okay, okay. You're doing some bar work, huh? Smart. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. You grab that hooch, you bring it back to the clubhouse without spilling it all over the road, and you're gonna have yourself a dive while everybody talking about it. So we have a safe at the arcade that collects up to a hundred grand maximum capacity over time by doing nothing. I believe it's a hundred grand maximum. We have the nightclub, which works on popularity. We can do popularity missions to get, I believe, up to $10,000 per day, per in-game day every 48 minutes. We have the agency safe, which we can do contract missions. If we do 200 contract missions, the safe will generate, I believe, $20,000 a day every 48 minutes. On top of those, we now have the new MC safe in the MC clubhouse. And by doing these resupply missions, I believe one resupply mission will stock the safe for $40,000, which will do $5,000 a day. So not a lot, but when you top that on top of the arcade, the nightclub, the agency, and now if you keep your MC clubhouse stacked, probably going to be looking at forty to $50,000 per in-game day every 48 minutes for doing nothing. Just playing the game. So definitely can't complain about that and something to definitely not sleep on. Keep those safes stocked. Your daily bar earnings will be available to collect soon. Resupply the bar regularly to continue earning additional income. Nice. I think now we'll head over to the crate warehouses and check those out because I heard we can now purchase crates from employees. Which is actually pretty awesome because if you think about it, that's kind of passive income. No missions required. We used to have to source crates three at a time. And to be honest, they could be a little bit annoying because when you purchase three crates, if you're playing solo, sometimes you got to go back and forth and back again and forth and back one last time for the third crate to bring those to your warehouses. Whereas now we should be able to have employees inside that we can pay money and they can source crates at random between one and three. So... I believe it's $7,500 to pay the employee. They will source the crates for you, and there's a chance they will bring back one, two, or three. So the average of that is going to be two crates, which will be a value between $14,000 and $20,000 per crate, depending on if you sell your warehouse at uh, nine crates is for one vehicle, 27 crates or below guarantees two vehicles for the sell missions. <laughs> And the 111 crates, I believe it is, is three vehicles. So for doing that solo, it's uh, a bit daunting, but it's definitely doable. So the value of those is going to be fourteen, sixteen, or $20,000 per crate, which is pretty good to stack up while you're playing the game. Again, just have your employees go get them. Hey, Sandra, how you doing? It's been a while. We're going to check out the last delivery what mission for the for CEO office, the Export Mixed Goods. Oh, hi. So for the bunker, we had the old vintage military truck. For the MC uh, clubhouse, we've got the choppers and the bikes, of course. Let's see what we're going to get for the CEO office new delivery missions. Oh yeah, got the little Mini Cooper on the way. Do a little E-rate parking slide, back it in. And we've got a proper semi, that's cool. Reminds me of uh, some of the heist prep work for the Cayo Perico with uh, stealing the, the, the boat, the speedboat, and uh, using that as an escape vehicle. So far for me, I am liking all of these additional delivery missions. And uh, the quality of life is uh, really appreciated with being able to have uh, crates fill up in our warehouses without doing missions for them, just paying the employees 
And by the way, before I forget, for the nightclub, if you call Johan on your phone, you can now see the value of your nightclub, how much you can sell it for without going to the nightclub. So that is really convenient because that's probably what I sell the most nowadays. I'm not grinding as much as I used to. I'm more casually running things and drifting and taking cars out for mountain runs, doing rally racing. So for me, these more simple and quick and relaxing delivery missions is pretty cool. So again, I'm looking forward to coming up with a new rotation for a new money guide on a relaxing method to make money. All right, plus $150,000. So again, that's probably going to be 50 grand on the normal, but hey, this is a good day in GTA. First day back in with the new update, I've got 637,000 cash on the top right, which is not bad for about an hour of playing. And I'll be putting some more time into these missions, getting the money back together and checking out some of the new vehicles in the update as well. Let me know what you guys think of the new DLC so far. There's not really too much new content. But there is a lot of improvements to the existing businesses. There's new vehicles to check out and some huge quality of life updates such as the crates and even seeing the value of the nightclub delivery missions. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for coming along, checking it out with me. Let me know what you think as well of the new DLC and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care everyone. See you soon.